My name is Isaac Rutenberg. I'm the director of the Center for Intellectual Property and Information Technology Law, or CIPIT, at the Strathmore Law School here in Nairobi, Kenya. And we are working at the intersection of intellectual property and IT, uh, particularly in the ways that uh, people utilize both of those for various reasons, including development. I think at the moment it's quite early. There are some very uh, nascent projects in AI uh, on the continent. There's actually quite a lot of them, but I, I think that the impact of those has, so far has been quite minimal. Uh, I think that um, we are we are at an early stage of, de of determining how we want to use AI. And in some ways that's really good because the rest of the world has shown us uh, or has allowed us to see some of the pitfalls, some of the major problems that we're going to in, in, encounter as we develop AI, uh, which will eventually, uh, you know, in, in, uh, in, we will encounter that in everyday life on a regular basis. We, we do already in some instances, but it, it's only going to grow. If I could have AI solve any problems, it would be getting products to international markets. So a lot of, uh, a lot of agriculture in Africa is wasted because uh, for a variety of reasons. And I know a lot of those are structural and, and, and AI is obviously not going to solve all of them. But somehow if we could, if we could use AI to help uh, the distribution systems, the, uh, the analysis of all of the data that is required uh, or that is generated, uh, that impacts how products are moved around and, and I think that would have a very big impact on, on the people uh, in, in their daily lives.